Hello there, sports fans. Uh, pardon my beard. It's late. It's going on 12 o'clock <clears throat> Thursday uh, night. Um, I, I really can't stand by and not make some comments on a few things, and hopefully I can remember some of the stuff. I'm pretty tired, as you can see. Uh, I noticed uh, a lot of YouTubes uh, where they show Michelle or Michelle Obama and Barack Obama totally, totally bashing Hillary Clinton. And it's amazing that they don't ask either Mr. Obama or, or um, Michelle, uh, do they still feel that way about Hillary Clinton? It's amazing how... <clears throat> Anybody who questioned Hillary's health and her actions was deemed uh, conspiratorial uh, by the mainstream media. I think by now, if you don't realize that the mainstream media is totally in the, in the pocket of, of uh, George Soros, the New World Order, uh, you know, you have to really, uh, I have to start wondering what, what kind of... Um, sanity we have here um, with the bulk of the population. But the polls are, are kind of moving along. Um, I think uh, Trump um, is doing a good job. We can't continue the way we're going. It's amazing the Bohemian, Bohemian Grove people, which includes these uh, Republicans who like running around naked and stuff uh, with other guys, um, Read up on the Bohemian Grove, uh, what those guys are about. But they're against Trump, and it seems to me this is the most wonderful thing that could happen to uh, Trump, who's really a straight shooter. <laughs> He's almost like a Mormon in terms of his uh, drinking and smoking habits. But in any event, um, this whole thing with uh, Hillary and her lies and her lies and these emails, you know, it's amazing how the media, here we go, the control media is trying to make villains out of these people who are t getting the truth to us. It's like we're not supposed to have the truth. We're not supposed to know that most of the government is corrupt. And I know that ambassador ships were up for sale long before Obama. And uh, so I don't want to be unfair to the SOB. But the fact of the matter is, is that it's so blatant. It's so You take Colin Powell, who's been this high horse, respectable guy, and here he is, here he is saying he hates Trump, uh, he wants to vote for Hillary, but, you know, deep down he, he really he despises Hillary, he hates her, and um, the pressure's on him to, uh, you know, produce. Now, he claimed to be a Republican and all this sort of stuff. Listen, he got us into this uh, Gulf War thing just as much as George Bush, and, uh, you know, um, so he's no, he's no saint. He got us in this total mess. And and by the time, if Trump ever gets elected and not, not assassinated, a lot of people are going to be called to task for what they did on this whole 9-11 uh, response, attacking Iraq, which had nothing to friggin' do uh, with the 9-11 attack. It was, it was basically Saudi Arabia. I mean, this thing goes so deep, it's unfriggin' uh, believable. And yet, you know, anybody who says anything like this is deemed, you know, nutcase or something like that. But let me tell you, all these, all these emails are confirming what most of us with an IQ of over, you know, 20, um, basically uh, suggested or even occurred to them that there's something not right here. And they keep on giving us the lies and keep on giving us the lies. And the media keeps on feeding you the lies. Fox News has been pretty good. Uh, what was it Meg Megan Kelly? Actually, uh, I've grown to respect her a little bit now. Um, but still, in all, there uh, when was it Chris Wallace was talking to the head of Home Homeland Security. What's his name? Jay Johnson. Jay Johnson said he hates Clinton. He thinks he's a security risk. He doesn't think he's fit for president. And he's overseeing the election. This is after. This is after Donald Trump said, you know, they may try to steal this election from me. And Obama goes in this long, comical litany saying, oh, what's wrong with Trump? What, is he paranoid or something? Uh, there's no way 
There's no way an election could be stolen in the United States. Next thing you know, they got this Jay Johnson overseeing the whole freaking thing. They're going to make sure they're going to make sure the votes go where they want to go. You know, something else you might not know that on all the all the um, primary uh, votes that they had on the Democratic side, anytime there was paper votes, uh, old Bernie, Bernie Sanders won. Every time they went to a computer situation, uh, he lost. Now, you have to understand that George Soros, who, who basically was a Nazi collaborator, and why the Jews aren't coming down on him, supporting hit, uh, 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 Hillary Clinton, is totally beyond me. But in any event, George Soros um, basically has some sort of interest in these Diebold voting machines. So, you know, there's something really going on going down here and this is our last chance I swear to God this is our last chance to really get our country back I mean Obama is trying to get rid of the internet now so that we won't have control over it and make sure it's free I mean you don't understand most countries don't have a first amendment you understand that most countries they can slap you down throw you in jail for saying anything you're in, in Europe you mention anything about ISIS or anything like that, and these, these people coming in and destroying their country, and you, you go to jail. Meanwhile, they're afraid to screw around with these, uh, these crazy people burning up everything. Um, in any event, I, I really um, feel this is really an important election. I always knew um, McCain was, was, was no freaking good when, when he said, don't worry about Obama getting in, and nothing terrible is going to happen with Obama. And, and so I figured if he wasn't worried about Obama, why should I? So I, I voted for, I think, Ralph Nader in that, that election. Not, the, the, not that it would have mattered. And, of course, Mitt Romney, he spent more time trying to attack Donald Trump. So did the Bushes. It's amazing. These people, these people are like bad, bad news. Anybody I see, especially on the Republican side, that's, a, that's against the, uh, Donald Trump. To me, that's a, that's a badge of, of courage, and that goes with the Bohemian Grove crowd. Uh, who really are into some sort of perversions. Um, but anyhow, hopefully Trump will let, uh, win. And all these wacko movie stars and, and drug addicts and stuff uh, will move out of the, move out of the uh, United States. Then they can overdose someplace else and go to rehab on someone else's bill. So anyhow, God bless America. Uh, God bless uh, Donald Trump. I think uh, uh, he's, he's our only option. Oh, getting back to this, this guy, uh, Gary Johnson, he's for mandatory vaccinations. He's for that uh, Trans-Pacific Partnership uh, trade, which will totally screw up the United States and take our rights away. He, uh, oh, he's against auditing the Federal Reserve. Those bastards, you know, I mean, um, the guy's a whack job. He, he really really is and uh so he's the, the media is touting him so he can take votes against um from trump but they never really talk about this jill um stein of the green party who's calling for uh another look at 9 11 you know uh, the, the attack on us in 9 11 you know god bless her you know i tell you what if she could actually get that done i'd almost vote for her and and screw trump but trump is gonna make sure that happens too i think he's gonna really look into the whole the whole mess we are we have been sold out what they call that a blued and tattooed or whatever they say we're in bad shape so god bless you, uh, all you americans out there uh hopefully we'll get our strength back again we'll stop not giving us we'll actually protect our borders and um not go bankrupt i mean you know the way it is now i think our best bet is they're eventually going to just take whatever money you have and um, say, okay, it's worth half of what it was. Boom. And I think that's, that's, that's the route they're going. And the people don't have anything. I guess they don't give it crap. And, uh, of course, then we'll have to double the wages um, to compensate that. Anyhow, it's a mess. It really is a mess. And the Federal Reserve has to be audited. And, um, like I said, we, uh, the, for us to give away the Internet control is, is insane. But, like I said, Obama has, is only doing... Like I said, I'm really not mad at Obama because he's only doing what his parents would have wanted him to do, that is wreck the country because they hated the country. And I doubt that based upon his parents alone and his association with uh, Bill Ayers, who was a terrorist bomber, that, that Obama could get a job in, in, the, in the 
the FBI. But then again, the FBI is sold out, too. The head of the FBI was involved in that bank that was laundering uh, drug money. And when they gave it a slap of, I mean, let me tell you, too big to fail, too big to jail. God bless us, I tell you. We, we really have to wake up, you know, and, and real, realize, I mean, actually realize that you are being brainwashed with the TV, all these morning talk shows and stuff like that. It's garbage, it's garbage, it's garbage, it's garbage. There's some good radio out there that you can hear something. But most of it, let me tell you, it's just pap. And uh, it's all controlled media, the same talking points. Anyhow, be well.